Hello everyone, uh, I thought I'd do a quick video. I'm just doing some renovation work at my home here. I'll, today I'll be painting these uh, interior walls of this room here. Currently it's uh, painted in a really light shade of uh, pink. Uh, basically I use a projector to watch movies in this room and with this pink color, some of the colors are actually not uh, showing correctly. So uh, we will do a video of every step uh, of this process. Uh, now I'm going to show you what equipments, uh, well, what are the things that you will need to do the paintings here. Okay, I've already gathered everything that's needed here. Um, the first thing we will need is an instant, um, you can have, you know, you can buy concentrated mix, um, uh, sugar soap. So basically, uh, it'll just to, you know, clean off the wall before you start painting it. Is there any grease or anything on the wall? It will clean it up, okay? And we got some uh, masking tape here as well. Um, it's always good to buy some good quality one, the one that says uh, painter's masking tape. There's also that something that you can get a uh, general masking tape. It's better not to use it because it's hard to take off once you're done with the painting. So buy a good one on that one. You got the paint roller here. And we also have a trim brush. Uh, the, the reason it, it's good to have is, is always, you know, there's all, there'll be always ages that you won't be able to reach with the roller brush, so this is for that. And also try to buy an uh, angle one as well, that way they're easy to work as well. And obviously you've got the paint here, um, and some stick or some sort to just to stir the paint up, because you've got to mix it very uh, nicely before you start applying it. And I've also got a few rugs here that I'm going to throw in before I paint in, so that if I actually drop any paints, which, are, which will happen, so it doesn't uh, fall into the carpet, and I've got some newspaper as well for the same purpose. Okay, I have already put masking tape around all the edges, as you can see. Start from this round corner here, the top side, and also in the bottom here, okay? Uh, uh, two things I forgot to mention before uh, uh, in the previous uh, section is you also need a ladder to do, uh, reach all the sections safely, and also a breathing mask when you're actually painting, actually painting, or when you are cleaning up using this uh, sugar soap. Okay, now that we have done with the masking tape, now we're going to use this instant um, sugar soap to clean up the wall. So uh, with this one, what you're going to do is, this is already pre-mixed, you don't have to make a, a solution yourself. So you just pretty much uh, spray it up and uh, clean it up, uh, wash it up with the damp. It, uh, it doesn't have to be really good, you just have to make sure there is no grease or any dust particle on the wall. That's all you want to do. You don't have to like clean it, clean it. All right, let's just get started with this. So yeah, I'm just spraying it on, and I'm putting it off, and keep on doing it until you're done. Well, we have uh, cleaned up the wall the best we can with the sugar soap. Still a bit of marks there, but as I said, I make sure there is no dust or grease on the wall at all. Now, the next part is getting ready to paint we need to actually prepare the paint so I'm all right i've opened up the paint now i have to stir it for according to this one at least five minutes so i've got this wooden stick that i'm going to use and the circular motion and as i i don't know if you can see that i put it close to the other one you can see the really heavy stuff at the bottom so uh, in a circular motion I'm going to stir it for the next uh, five minutes, and I would like to. I'll do at least five minutes, but I'm or more, given that you know how I'm searing the paint. When I will feel that, you know how I, it feels heavy at the bottom. When it's not gonna feel heavy at the bottom, and uh, when I will get a feel that it's uh, evenly mixed throughout the bottle, then I'll start uh, searing up. All right, I've been actually staring this paint for the last uh, five or six minutes and it has become quite uh, evenly mixed now, I think. It's easy to move. And so I'm going to transfer the paints to this uh, lower set here. Okay, now I'm going to start with the edges. The One of the few tricks that I've learned from YouTube actually is like, it's uh, better to start a bit off from the edges than go to the edges. That way, if you have excess paint in the brush, it will be in the middle, which you can remove later. So, like this, so in order to start from edges, I'll start from here, then I'm going to go next to edges. So from there.
like this. Okay, I have done all the edges. Uh, from here, here, bottom, and all the way through. Now it's time to use the paint uh, roller. So when it's done evenly, it'll move evenly that it is doing right now, as you can see. So that's what it is. I soak it up properly. The best possible way, instead of going like this, you go like in a sort of in zigzag manner. I'll show you. You cover more, which I'm doing right now. Then you start coming back from here again, and you'll see how nice it's done. You see? Cover very nicely. And always good, always a good habit of following the washer. It's always a good habit to, when you finish, finish it with a downstroke. Because if you have any extra paint, it's here. You can still push it down. But if you finish like this, the paint is stuck there with excessive paint, which you never can move. So whenever you do this, like here, you always drop the extra paint at the bottom. So this way you finish the first coat. And they say within two or three hours you can paint. But I recommend drying it for 24 hours. Do it next day. You can see imperfect, imperfections better. And if you have any spot that you think it's not done properly, you can do better when you do the second coat. I finished doing uh, this wall. I've done the first coat. Uh, it's already late uh, tonight, so I'm not going to bother printing it tonight. I'll leave it for, as I mentioned earlier in the video, 24 hours. So I will do a second coat tomorrow. I'm actually very happy and I cannot wait to put my projector back on and see how nice it looks. Thank you.